Hello everybody, Brother Chuck coming to you for another Wednesday night devotion for Awana. Uh, outside, a beautiful day today. I hope you're able to get outside and enjoy this. Uh, just wanted to come to you for a few minutes tonight and uh, open the Word of God, share a little scripture with you, and uh, have a moment of prayer with you. Hope everybody's doing good. Sure do miss y'all. Uh, hope we we're able to get together very soon. Um, but tonight I want to open in the book of John in the 13th chapter. I want to talk about love, love for one another. Um, these times we're going through, plus just everyday life now, it seems like love is something that we kind of gone away from. Uh, but God, Jesus commanded us to love one another. And uh, that's what we're going to read tonight. But, you know, even in these troubling times, it's the time that we as Christians should show love for one another, show love to the unlovable, so to speak, as the world would term people, to the person that maybe doesn't show love back to you. Let's show love to them. Let's be the shining light that this world needs right now. So let's look in the, in the book of John, the 13th chapter, uh, starting with verse 34. It says, A new commandment I give unto you, that ye, that ye love one another as I have loved you, that ye also love one another. By this shall all men know that ye are my disciples, if ye have love one to another. So as we go through our day-to-day -day life, and you know, us as parents, we get in the grind of going to work, making sure the bills are paid, making sure the groceries are bought, making sure everything's done around the house. And as the kids, going to school, doing your work, or as you're doing right now, doing your AMI work and uh, driving your parents crazy in the house. But let's always make sure that love starts at home, number one. Parents, let's show the kids the example of love. Let's show them the light of Jesus in our lives. That they, we don't just speak it, we show it, we act it. We don't just talk the talk, but we walk the walk. And kids, let's take that light and let's show it to our friends Maybe it's through social media for some of you. Maybe it's through uh, FaceTime with your friends or with family. Let's show that love to this world. That is something that they're desperately seeking right now. They're looking for answers. And the answers all are right here with Jesus. Yes, we've got to abide by this dis social distancing. We want this virus to go away. But we can't stop shining our light our love for Jesus, our love for this world, our love for the sinner. We don't like the sin, but we love the sinner. Jesus hated sin, but he loves the sinner. Take this time, shine your light, may it shine ever, ever so brightly, as bright as it's ever done to this lost and dying world. Show love, show peace. Love one another. Put Jesus first in your life and let him shine through you. I pray that each and every one of you are doing okay. If you get a chance, uh, maybe your parents or if you get have a phone, send me a text. Let me know how you're doing. 870-500-8286. Uh, uh, go on the Promised Land Children's Ministry Facebook page if you have access or with your parents. And post, post a picture of what y'all are doing. Uh, I'd, I'd love to hear from you. Hope you're all doing great. Um, if you need me, call me, text me. I be, I'm here. I'm available. I pray for you daily. Just uh, keep the faith, and I hope you're all enjoying your time out of school. But make sure you do your work. Uh, God bless you. Let's dismiss in a word of prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, I come to you tonight, Lord. Just thanking you, Lord, for your blessings, Lord. Lord, for watching over and taking care of us, Lord. As we go through these times, Lord, that we many of us have never experienced anything like this before in our life, Lord. Lord, we know one thing is constant, Lord, and that's you and your love for us. Lord, I pray that we would lean on you now more than we ever have, Lord. Lord, I pray we'd dust off our Bibles, we'd read them daily. I pray that we would pray daily, Lord, and just build our relationship even stronger with you right now, Lord. The one thing that social distancing cannot do is keep us away from you, Lord, and you away from us. Lord, we love you. We praise you. Lord, I pray for each and every one of these boys and girls, Lord, for their parents, grandparents, and all their family, Lord. Lord, I pray for our our town. I pray for our state and our nation, Lord. I pray that 
We would look to you for guidance during these times, Lord. Forgive me of my sins. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen.